Ed Woodward isn't out with the Manchester United squad in America for the beginning of the pre-season tour. So speculation is going wild that he is out there securing £300 million worth of transfers to follow Romelu Lukaku. And less than 24 hours after reports that Woodward is not in America, lo and behold, we find ourselves in the middle of a brief from the press. So we have got James Dawson from the Manchester Evening News, Jamie Jackson from The Guardian, David McDonnell from The Mirror, and Rob Dawson from ESPN, all publishing articles at the exact same time on Tuesday night about Eric Dyer and Ivan Perisic. And the stories are pretty similar from all four newspapers in both stories. First up, the Eric Dyer stories. Now they are all saying that Man United do want to make a move for Eric Dyer to try and sign him from Tottenham Hotspur. They go on to say that he grew up as a Manchester United fan, Roy Keane was one of his idols, and that he can double his wages from 70 to 140,000 pounds a week at Manchester United. Jamie Jackson from The Guardian goes a step further in saying that Ed Woodward had a bid rejected for him by Daniel Levy, who made it clear, Dyer's not for sale this summer. Move on and find someone else. Now, Dyer, just like Nemanja Matic, just like Bakayoko, Fabinho, one of those central defensive midfielders that has long been linked to Manchester United all summer long. The price tag on his head, 60 million. 60 million for Eric Dyer. Yes, I know, but it's, it's just ridiculous this summer. It doesn't matter who you are or how good you are. You're going to cost a lot of money. Now, all four newspapers are pushing this at the same time. And if you look at the Ivan Perisic stories from all the newspapers, again, pushing the exact same story that Manchester United want to secure a £45 million move for Perisic before Inter Milan fly out to China for their pre-season tour on Tuesday. Now previously with Perisic it was that Man United wanted to try and agree a deal for him before the FFP sanctions came in on Inter Milan when they had a €30 million Euros deadline to pay that before they got fined. They paid that, now it's moved on to the pre-season. I'm pretty bored of these Perisic rumours. I really don't think it's going to happen because Man United will not pay the £50 million that Inter Milan want for Ivan Perisic. It's very, very simple for United. If we want Perisic that much, pay the £50 million. What difference does £5 million make when it's 10% of the value of the player? Edward would try to, I don't know what he's trying to do, or whether even after Perisic. And this just all makes me think, really? Is this really Manchester United's transfer news or is this the transfer news that Manchester United want the press to be concentrating on? Because let's look at the Romelu Lukaku deal. Everybody for weeks was talking about Alvaro Morata and how close Manchester United were to signing him. All of a sudden, within 48 hours of the Lukaku stories coming out, we've signed him. And the press knew nothing about it. For me, this Perisic and Dyer story, both of them, they just scream of a smokescreen. They scream of dropping a grenade for distraction over there, whilst Ed Woodward's over here, calmly getting along with his transfer business. And especially when you look at the prices linked with both of these players. 50 to 60 million, probably 60 to 70 million, given that it's Eric Dyer and Daniel Levy and Tottenham Hotspur. Then you look at Ivan Perisic, 50 million. You're looking upwards of 100 million pounds for the pair of them. Now, are there alternatives? Absolutely. Fabinho, 45 million euros for Fabinho. We know fully well that that is gonna sign him and secure him from Monaco. It does worry me that the fact we haven't gone and done that already because that to me screams of, I don't know, that Manchester United don't really want him, but it doesn't make any sense because he's exactly what we need in the exact position we need him. As for Perisic, I mean, He's 28, 28, 29. Do you know any other attacker who's happy to play on the wing, who can score goals in the Premier League and can probably be lured away with a bid in the region of 50 million pounds? Hmm. Why aren't we looking at Alexis Sanchez? It really doesn't make sense to me. And any Arsenal fan coming on here saying that he's worth more than 50 million pounds, realise that your club has let another contract run down and that next year he can leave on a free transfer. Anybody going in for Sanchez has the upper hand this summer. And if we're going to spend 45, 50 million pounds on Perisic, why wouldn't we go and try and sign Sanchez for the same price? All Arsenal can do is reject it 
and if they reject it and Sanchez's head gets turned, it makes it even easier. I would much rather sign Sanchez in that position than Perisic, and I'd be surprised if there was anybody who wanted Perisic over Sanchez. But let me know what you think about this Eric Dyer, Ivan Perisic story that's coming out from the press. Is this really what's happening, or is this what Man United want the press to be looking at? Because I'm looking at this thinking, what benefit do Manchester United gain from telling the press exactly what we're doing in our pursuits of Eric Dyer and Ivan Perisic? Does it put pressures on the players to sort of force a move? Maybe with Eric Dyer because he's in England and they might see the press, but Perisic is busy in Italy. That's not going to happen or change anything with him. Is it going to put pressure on the clubs? Absolutely not. They're used to this sort of paper guff. So I can't see any benefit to Man United telling the press exactly what we're doing. And we didn't with Romelu Lukaku and look how perfectly that worked out. So for me, this is a smokescreen. Dyer and Perisic is a distraction from what's really going on. But what is really going on? All we can do is speculate. But I'm saying that Fabinho is a hell of a lot better than Eric Dyer in that role for Man United and what we need. And if we're going to spend 50 mil on Perisic, why are we not looking at Alexis Sanchez? A player with less than a year left on his contract has made it clear he is unhappy at the club. Arsenal do not want to let him go. They didn't want to let Van Persie go either. Look what happened there. I think history can repeat itself or Mourinho can at least rock the boat because they're all happy after signing Lacazette. What happens if Sanchez leaves? Let's try and do that. The same time as strengthening your team, you're weakening a rival. That's the perfect sort of signing. But what do you think about it? Is it a smokescreen or are we going after Dyer and Perisic? Who would you rather have there? Dyer and Perisic or Sanchez and Fabinho? Let me know in the comments below as always. Drop a like on the video, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.